and I saw how our troops were facing casualties when they went and I realized that Shah Beg's planning had been superb. Humiliation is what turned this Indian Army general into a supporter of terrorism. Whether it was the World War, the 1947 India-Pakistan War, the 1962 India-China War and even the 1971 War, he was one of the few war heroes who fought for India in almost all the wars. But fate had something else in store for him and he was labelled a militant. This is the story of Major General Shabik Singh. Born in 1924, Shabik Singh was recruited into the British Army in 1942. After the partition of India, Singh joined the Parachute Brigade of the Indian Army. During the 1962 Indochina War, he carried injured officers on his shoulder to the hospital. His bravery and patriotism made him a trustworthy name in the Indian Army. It is said that during the 1971 war, he was posted in Nagaland. Field Marshal Sam Manekshaw asked him to train and prepare the Mukti Bahini in guerrilla warfare, which later proved to be a master stroke in defeating Pakistan and pushing their army out of Bangladesh. By this, he played one of the most decisive roles in the 1971 war. In 1974, he was promoted to the rank of Major General and he was dubbed a hero. However, just a day before his retirement, he was dismissed from service. Trapped in a case of corruption, he was stripped of his rank without a court-martial. This denied him his full pension rights. Two charge sheets in an anti-corruption court were brought against him in Lucknow by the CBI. Singh sought redress in the civil courts and was acquitted of all charges in February 1984. However, by then, he had made up his mind. The humiliation of being dismissed from service just a day before his retirement pushed the 1971 war hero to serve as the military advisor to militant Janel Singh Bhindrawale. After he was stripped of his rank in the army, he focused his time on his spiritual life. This is when he met Bhindranwale. He was so much influenced by the ideology of Bhindranwale that he joined hands with the Khalistan supporters group. Major General Shabek Singh then helped the militants fortify Golden Temple during Operation Blue Star. He was my instructor, he was a captain and I was a cadet. Hmm. So I knew Shabek Singh from that time. Hmm. Then of course 71 war, uh, when the operation was over by a number of these people who we had captured, prisoners. They said, Shabek Singh had told Bhindran Wale that it's not going to be easy. We're going to have a tough fight. I knew what a crafty man he was. And when I saw those defenses, and I saw how our troops were facing casualties when they went in, I realized that Shabek's planning had been superb. By the time he was found dead, after the army action at Golden Temple in 1984, he was being called a terrorist. However, his brother Bian Singh later said that his brother had no soft corner for Khalistan. His motive was only to avenge his insult. Whatever the motive, he used his military expertise to counter the Indian army. Today, everybody knows Shabik Singh for causing irreparable damage to the country by supporting terrorists. Unfortunately, this overshadows his contribution in bringing victories to India.